right, so in addition to replacing our hot water heater, our furnace was not new by any means as well. We moved in this house in 2011, and both our hot water heater and our furnace came with the house. Um, the furnace did have an efficiency rating on it of 80%. So in the spirit of going all electric and capping our gas, which we have done, um, we went with a Mitsubishi, I think it was a 30,000 BTU unit, um, and a whole house indoor air handler. So we're able to leverage our existing ductwork with the new furnace. Furnace is going as well. You can see it's one of the least efficient units out there. Um, we don't know how old it is. It was here when we got the house, and it was 2011. It's currently 2000. It was September of 2011. So it came with the house. So these two ducks, you can't really see it there too, but there are two ducks that come off. And those two ducks go down underneath the stairs and over into the pantry. And then underneath our slab and our family room. We're getting rid of those. Instead, Bill's going to run a pipe through our laundry space and out to the family room because those are pretty much ineffective. All right, so the Mitsubishi condenser just arrived and we just put it in the backyard. That condenser will go on that stand and our whole intent is to leverage the heat from the south side for winter heating. It'll be somewhat protected in the summertime from the sun. But, you know, we've got some overhang, not a whole lot, and that'll help. But it's, it's really about leveraging it for the winter as much as possible. This is the outdoor compressor, and what does it do, Bill? It is the heat exchanger, basically. It's one of the heat exchangers. It's the motor of the heat of the outdoor heat exchanger. So it takes whatever air is outside right now, 45 degree air, and if we're in heating mode, it moves that air across a heat exchanger with a, a compressor and there's refrigerant running through the compressor. Right. And in basic terms, it makes the air a little bit colder. So it takes 45 degree air, say so it makes it... The outside colder. ambient air outside is colder. So it's coming, it's going to be blown out here. There's coils back here. And that it's taking heat that already exists... In the outside air. In the outside air concentrating it into the refrigerant and pushing it to the inside. And it does that over and over and over. So we have an unlimited supply of 45 degree air or zero degree air or whatever it is. So it can actually pull heat out of zero degree air. Well, you have to think about it like this. Zero degrees is a lot warmer than minus 40, right? There's a lot of heat in zero heat, degree air. Yeah. In zero degree air. So we can make zero degree air minus five degree air and we can take all that heat that's in that minus, that five degree delta, and put it in the house and put it in the house and put it in the house and make any house work on a heat pump, which is, again, we're not burning fossil fuels to make heat. We're just moving heat from one place to another. Heat. Right, and so it uses electricity to do that, but it does it about three times as efficiently as just using electricity to create heat. Right. And it also cools. We can do the exact same. We can use a refrigerant to pull heat out of the house and instead of making the outside air a little cooler we're making the outside air a little warmer now we're just moving the heat we're moving heat from inside the house to out in the summer so heat moves not cold it heat pumps it's a heat pump it moves heat. heat from one place to another so it pumps it inside the house or it pumps it outside the house so it's just moving it and i see you have a friend today hi sammy girl so this is the new unit that went in replaced our old furnace it's the mitsubishi here's the model number i don't know if you can see that but uh pva 36 i guess 36,000 btus um and it's running right now and you might be able to hear it 
But the old unit, when it came on, the air handler was crazy loud and it would just blow tremendous amounts of air. And it was noisy. And we could we knew when the furnace was on. This particular unit runs at such a low speed that we can't tell that it's actually running uh, unless we either come down and listen for it or put our foot over a register or um, because it is so quiet and that's one of the benefits of the new te newer technology it's just crazy quiet all right so the compressor is on i've turned the heat up so that it would come on so that's the outdoor compressor and you can hear it doesn't make pretty much any noise at all a little wind or air turbulence but the old AC unit used to sit over here so this is our back patio and the AC unit sat right there where the black spot is lights that went into the house right there and in short it was so loud that we couldn't hear each other talk. We would go inside while we we're sitting at the dinner table and we would turn the AC off so that we could actually have a conversation while we we're at dinner.